Scientists have listed three deltas in the world most affected by rising sea levels, namely the Ganges, Brahmaputra in Bangladesh, the Nile in Egypt, and the Mekong Delta in Vietnam. Sea level rises are destroying coastlines and protected forests, jeopardizing human lives and the food security of approximately 18 million people living along the Mekong Delta in Vietnam. Khmer is the southernmost region of the S-shaped country of Vietnam. Bordered on two sides by the East Sea and the Gulf of Thailand, its 254-kilometer-long coastline spanning from east to west is typified by its wetlands. The province lies at a crucial strategic position along the Mekong Delta and serves as a critical biosphere reserve for the region and the world. Apart from its modern significance, every inch of the sacred land in Ka Mo Cape that was discovered by the Vietnamese of antiquity has been preserved by generations through the peaks and troughs and the twist and turns of the country's long history. Scientists estimate that every year tens of meters of seawater intrude inland. The sea level rise in Ka Mau averages from one millimeter to four millimeters and is showing increasingly serious signs that this land is at risk of disappearing, jeopardizing the lives of millions of coastal residents who rely on the sea. In fact, in 1997, when he first moved here, Mr. Tai's house was still a kilometer away from the estuary, covered by other houses. But after only 25 years, the house is now highly prone and vulnerable to rising ocean waves. The sea has been intruded at an exponential rate. Đầu tiên ra cái khoảng một cây số hiện hiện nay là năm chín năm bây giờ là là nó lỡ vô tới nhà tôi là khoảng một, một cây số. The house could collapse amidst any fierce storm. Lying in the house, you can even hear the sound of waves crashing and can feel the shaking. Mr. Kai has hardly had a sound night of sleep for a month now. giữa nửa đêm sống lên thì cũng thức dậy bóng đèn thức dậy rồi đi đi xích qua mà mà ôm đồ xích đặng lên là chỉ mấy năm gần đây là nước biển rất là dâng cao và dân thất thường nữa chỉ là con dông tới là có thể cuốn đi cái nhà bình thường là sống nguyên nhân rất là cao và thấy cuộc sống tôi giờ hiện tại giờ cũng rất là hồi hộp nữa hồi hộp và lo sợ biết sống biển vô tới giấc nào và cuốn đi nhà đi giấc nào nữa. Only the children of the hamlet remain carefree. They have become accustomed to putting up temporary accommodations around the village. They are also used to skipping school early when studying in the classroom leaves them in as precarious a situation as their family's home before the storm.
on the other side of the west bank of Kamau Sea. Mr. Lau often paddles his canoe to the area where the family's old house off the coast has been eroded. What is left now only includes an old broken boat and the foundation of his family's house after the evacuation. Previously, this mudflat was home to his family and dozens of households earning their livelihood through local fishing. The west coast used to be miles away from the sea. But after only about 15 years, the sea drowned these houses. Mr. Lau's family was the last family to leave here when the waves already flooded the floor. Now only the old floors remain with concrete piles, remnants of the days of living at the stormy estuary. Mr. Lau misses the old house so dearly where his three children grew up, where his grandchildren were born and where he lived by the sea to support his family. The sea has sustained the fishermen, offering them an abundance of fish and shrimp, but it has also engulfed houses in stormy weather. For a few years now, Mr. Lau has had to move with other families in the village to a resettlement area deep inland. In previous years, fishermen like him could go fishing all year round. But now, the time left to go out to sea is only about four months. During this violent swell, Mr. Lau cannot go fishing and has nothing to do but hang out with the other fishermen in the hamlet. To deal with such unexpected leisure time, many people in the hamlet bring fishing gear to prepare and get ready for the next sea trip. bất thường tháng 5 tháng 6 uh, im mà tháng 10 tháng 11 sóng uh, rất to nước dâng rất cao bờ kè ở đây là ngập uh, qua bờ kè sóng quấn tràn vào bờ kè 
khu trong này là hồi trước đó là chỉ là nền nhà dân ở sống quýnh chịu không nổi nên di dời vào trong Every rainy season, the sea of Kamau becomes less gentle. The waves roar day and night, encroaching the coast, washing away the coastal protected forests, where the highest forest belt is only 70 meters, in some places only 30 to 40 meters. More seriously, in many places on the west coast, the forest belt is only about 30 meters. This used to be the land of mangrove forests growing in the wetlands and brackish water of Kamau province and accounting for more than 70% of the region's mangrove forests in the Mekong Delta, which spanned more than 100,000 hectares in 2011, but has gradually been shrinking. More seriously, out of the 254 kilometers stretching from the east to the west coast of Kamau province, 189 kilometers have been deteriorated by landslides, which can be attributed to the impacts of coastal currents and tides, especially big waves and high winds from the rise in sea level. Là một trong những tỉnh của cả nước có bờ biển dài nhất, mà sạt lở cũng rất là trầm trọng nhất. Uh, khoảng hơn 80 phần trăm chiều dài sạt lở có nghĩa là khoảng 200 cây số 200 cây số sạt lở tính nó dạng là bình thường sạt lở bình thường và sạt lở là nghiêm Khi mà nước biển dâng lên thì ở những cái vùng đất thấp thì nó sẽ bị tác động một cách rõ ràng hơn và uh, ở và một khí cái nguồn phù sa là giảm á, là do một số tác động của hoạt động con người á. ví dụ như là những cái đập thủy điện ở thượng nguồn sông Mê Công nó đã chặn lại phần lớn cái phù sa đi xuống cái vùng uh, đồng bằng sông Cửu Long và nó giảm đi cái chất trầm tích ở cái mũi cà mau thì cái điều này nó làm cho cái mũi cà mau trở nên là mong manh và dễ bị bị tác động do những cái yếu tố biến đổi khí hậu. According to the latest climate change scenario issued by the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, climate change is forecasted to impose a strong impact on people's lives in Kamau. In particular, by 2040, Kamau is expected to have more than 4,600 kilometers squared of land flooded from 1 to 1.2 meters under the 25 centimeter sea level rise scenario, accounting for 85.4% of total natural area of this locality. Rising water and land subsistence processes occur simultaneously, while environmental pollution and excessive rain also affect the main livelihood activities in Kamau water, such as fishing and aquaculture. This not only affects the sustainability of the master plans of Kamau province and the Mekong Delta, but also affects the food security of the country and the region. 
việc mà chúng ta cần phải sớm cái, có cái biện pháp khắc phục nhưng mà do cái nguồn lực đầu tư phải lớn đấy vì vậy thì uh, tỉnh trung ương cũng hỗ trợ rồi tỉnh cũng là tập trung quyết liệt nhưng mà mình cũng đã chỉ giải quyết những cái điểm là coi như là khó khăn nhất cũng chưa đồng bộ được cũng còn khó khăn The tides keep rising day by day. Rises in sea level will continue to make many areas of coastland and headlands more vulnerable. Coping and adapting to even a small change to the natural environment can create a big impact. Not only on nature, but on the humble people living on the strip of land at the end of Vietnam who are dealing every day with the waves and winds. There has always been a persistent inner strength among them, deeply rooted, rising up strongly on this land amidst the harshness of natural disasters. Con nhớ nhà mình đâu không? Ở đâu? Tại vì cái nơi này chôn nhau cứu ông cháu mà nở hồi xưa tới giờ mà làm gì không lưu liếc được. Today, on the west coast of Cao Mau, Mr. Tai brought his grandson back to the old mudflats to remind the children of the house where they were born, the trauma that the coastal people have experienced to understand the ferocity of nature and to learn to live with it. The sea is fierce, but also full of tolerance. The sacred cape is still preserved by the mangrove trunks that have risen out of the old house, although it will take more time for them to take root and stand firmly on this turbulent shore. <laughs>